everyone, I'm Elle Marie and welcome to Power TV, where we're empowering people to live healthier, happier lives. In this episode of Power TV, we'll help you change the way you think about food. We'll discuss the importance of cardiovascular fitness and inspire you with a true survivor story. All this and more on today's episode of Power TV. Potato chips, bacon, yams with brown sugar, these are familiar foods for most of us. And there's comfort in that familiarity. But no matter how delicious they taste, those foods aren't very healthy. So how can we make better choices about what to eat? We'll find out from dietitian Lona Sandin, who's devoted to helping people make healthy choices. When you're eating to lower blood pressure, there's a couple things you want to do. One is you want to get plenty of fruits and vegetables. Potassium helps us to get salt out of the body so that we can lower our blood pressure. And when you're looking for bread, you want to go for whole grain. Mm -hmm. Dairy has calcium, which is not only good for our bones, but it's also good for keeping our blood vessels relaxed, too. Oh. Being physically active helps you in so many ways. In addition to improving your overall cardiovascular fitness, being active may help you prevent or control high blood pressure and diabetes. You can also reduce stress levels and increase your energy. Yet another benefit is improving your self-image. There are three basic types of aerobic training methods used to improve endurance. Low intensity, like walking or yoga. High intensity, like running or weight training. And interval training, which is a variation of both. It is important to know that intensity, not duration, is the most important factor in improving your cardiovascular capacity. Is there any certain foods that you eat in order to keep a healthy diet, and why would you choose those foods? Uh, probably garlic. Garlic? Yes. Lowers the cholesterol, and it's a natural antibiotic. Well, you know, we like to have the yams and the greens and, you know, things like that. Is, you do. <laughs> is there anything in particular, like any certain vegetables? Is, what is your favorite dish that you might put together? I love a variety of vegetables. So if you had to put something together, what kind of healthy dish would you make? Maybe uh, some steamed vegetables, baked chicken, something like that. A little water to go along with that. Hi, my name is Jaleesa Hazard. I was married to Walt Hazard. Um, he's a former UCLA basketball player and coach. He um, went to play for the Los Angeles Lakers uh, after his college career, and in, when he was 22 years old, he was uh, diagnosed with endocarditis, just in a random physical by our doctor uh, before the season in uh, his, his second year. The interesting thing about it was he recovered, of course, very well because he was 22 and very strong and an athlete. But we don't know if later on it led to him having a stroke. However, um, he did have a brain attack. We later found out it was because he had an infected heart valve. And the heart valve actually was disintegrated and he threw an embolism and the embolism is what caused the stroke. My message to the community is, first of all, take care of yourself. You know, eat properly, get your rest, work out take a walk and then after that go to the doctor and know what you what your numbers mean and know what they're saying and ask questions be informed sickle cell disease occurs in one of every 600 african-american births making it the most commonly inherited disease among african-americans it also occurs in one of every 1,000 to 1,400 hispanic american births this disease affects many people, but you may not know much about it. Sickle cell is a disorder in which the red blood cells have difficulty delivering oxygen to the body. The proteins in the red blood cells, which are called hemoglobin, become rigid and stick together. This damages the inner wall of blood vessels, often blocking the flow of blood. Individuals living with sickle cell need to be especially aware of the risk of suffering stroke. A stroke occurs when blood is cut off from part of the brain. When this happens, cells in that area can die and may cause disability or even death. There are some tests that patients who have sickle cell disease can take to show if they're at risk for stroke. So if you or a loved one is living with sickle cell disease, speak to your physician to discuss your options. Well, that's all for today. I'm your host, Elle Marie, and thanks for joining us for this episode of Power TV. Be sure to check us out next time when we'll again be empowering you to build a happy, healthier life. Thank you.